Hello, good evening. Um, I'm, I'm a fan of do it yourself, so I'm actually trying to install this uh, LNG gas myself. So I just got this. The road, uh, MP natural gas liquefied petroleum gas. So this is it. I've gotten a hose, a 4.5 mm hose, gas hose. Then this is 3 kg. I got the uh, regulator on it as well. So I'll be showing you the generator shortly. Okay, so this is a Sumac Fireman uh, SPG 3000E2. It's a uh, a rated output 2.5 kilowatt so it is battery powered or you can also use this so in order to uh, make this video quick as possible so we don't waste our time um, you're losing this screw one two three four to remove this tank so I've already done that um, so I'm going to remove the tank so I've removed the tank this is the hose pipe that goes to the tank, disengaged. Um, so I'll be removing this. This is the um, air, what do they call it? Air something where it receives air intake. So I've removed this. You have four screws here. One, two, three, and uh, four. So I've removed that as well. So I removed this. This also has been loosened. So. I just use my hand to remove it like this i actually see a lot of videos online and um i think i should also do one that is more concise and clear so once you remove this uh this knot then there is also one uh knot at the back this is it it is used to hold this at the back here if you can see it properly yes this so I've losing that as well once you're losing that this will come off easily is that as well okay so um, then this is the carburetor the, so you have to remove this uh, governor arm from this you remove this then you also manage and remove this as well okay so you pull it gently and leave it like that then you remove this so this is the petrol carburetor i set this aside then i'll try and prepare the gas converter on this so let me just set this down um, apologies for all this so this is the i hope here it is clear so this no it can be clear like that it has to be against it so i'll show you shortly this <coughs> is the hose pipe so the hose pipe goes here then the other end of the hose pipe goes to this regulator so i'll show you shortly i'll quickly do that and show you shortly all right uh so this area is the converter so i'm going i want us to see how i prep this one because i just don't want to show a video where i do everything will just be like magic boom he has done it boom he has done it so this is it this goes in here uh, okay i'm actually putting it first because i've actually noticed that uh that place is kind of tight because of this prong so okay so i've i fit the hose in uh for uh, more safer um reasons you can get a clip something like this um where is the clip that i can't find it. okay this is it you can find something like this this ring and find the right size for this and using it to tighten it more but for now i just want to test first so i'll get the ring later so this is here and i'm going to go ahead and fit it here um so uh it actually goes in like this but i notice this will block this from going inside so i'll just a little bit you know 
push this aside to allow it to pass from here then I slide it in okay uh, okay it goes in and once you push it aside it allows it to pass then you install the rest like the normal petrol carburetor so this has gone in I've already fit in the hose because of the tire and this place so this has gone in let me show you clearly you see so this was the one blocking this so I pushed this aside like this to allow it to pass I've installed this and I've already inserted the hose you can see this place is a little bit tight so this has gone in like that then you install the rest like the same way you loosen it up um, this goes in the governor control mechanism so okay um, sorry I'm just trying to okay so that has gone in and also the spring goes into that one has gone into so that's it then you just install the air, air meter like that so i'm trying i'm just striving to i'm using one hand to hold the phone i'm using one hand to record okay so you install it like that then you then you install you make sure you install everything back so i'll be right back with all this installed then we move to the cylinder aspect okay i changed my mind i want to show us you know how i installed everything back although it's very easy so we put this screw mm. So I get my, this is a 14, I guess, no, 10. So you tighten it up with the 10. Okay, that's it. Then I put this um, hose back inside here because it was, it got removed when I was removing this compartment. Okay that's going like that so the next is to install this so you install it like this you can see make sure you follow the direction that was there when you're losing it so make sure you take note of everything that was there before so you don't miss it out you can see this one is curved so i realized it was like this so that any you know um oil that is coming out from here will be slipping out from here and going down so the next one is to install the foam so the foam is there um then okay so there are four screws here like i said earlier one two three four so i'll install the screws now okay so i'm installing the screws the four screws so just a moment let me just quickly install this i don't want this video to be more much more longer than it should be so so just like i said i've uh, i've been using this gen for i think over uh, eight months now and i've been using fuel and i do calculate my stuffs so a uh, one liter petrol uses um one hour 45 minutes or so on this gen with minimal load so i've i've done this so i'm going ahead going ahead to you know put the cover so, okay also don't forget i told you there is this prong that you know comes out there is a screw that holds this thing as well so you have to put the screw at the back i'll ensure i do all this after i just want to you know install this and uh, just want to install and test and see that this works fine or okay 
give me a few minutes let me install the screw at the back one moment i'll be right back okay so i'm back um i just uh, you know installed the screw at the back of this so everything is uh, secure and tight now so oh i think i missed something out this for the for the carburetor but i should be able to install it um okay so i missed something out while i was installing this lever i missed you know putting it on the carburetor so instead of dismantling all this there is one uh metal that actually safeguards this from popping out you know when you're using it i will just push it up to create a space for me so i can install this so you, when you're doing your own please ensure you don't miss it because you know i will not suggest you pushing that in it might actually break off and that's it but i don't think a one-time uh pushing can actually break it so i don't think a one-time you know push it. this is the this metal so i've been able to install it back i'll just use something to push it back a little bit okay so that's it that's done so that's it for this part i've installed this is the converter i've installed everything as it is so the next aspect is um you know putting the holes on the regulator so i'm moving it back that's the gen i'm moving it back to create some distance <laughs> i don't know what will happen so so this we just pop it in as well um, okay all right so this is in as well so let me move it back a little bit then i just have opened the gas so this is the moment of truth so i don't know the function of this oh okay as i'm pressing it i think it's you know pulling gas from that place so once you press it you hear the gas flowing from that um cylinder so i press it like once um when i was using my petrol this is the choke you start it from here so let's see if it starts no okay So you can see it's working <laughs> so as that's it so that means um i don't know if this applies to all gen or pentro converted to gas gen but when i want to start my engine this is where i put the choke after it has started then i pull it here but using this gas i i think i noticed you have to put it where it's supposed to you know when it has started already on the petrol, uh, when it was using petrol, when you, you know, it is two faces. You put it here, it starts, you know, it's, it's dragging, then you, you know, put the choke here and the gen stabilizes. But with this gas, you don't need to put it for a start. You don't need to choke it. Just leave it as, as if it has started running. It is already running with the petrol. Um, so let me try it again. I'm going to put it as when I usually the way I start my petrol. So let's see if it starts. No, nothing. Nothing. So I I unchoke it. That's it. So that's it. So it actually works. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to time it like I usually time my usage. This is 3 kg filled up and I'll time it and see how many hours is last and I'll up. So watch out for my next video. I will upload uh, details of my usage of this and whatever I notice any disadvantage or advantage. I'll also state it in my next video. Thank you very much and have a nice day.